the purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, a reference is a chunk of data that is identified as meaningful for the purposes of analysis. In this video, we discuss the status of references as components, we look at identifying references in different data sources, and look at some of the actions that can be taken on them. As we discussed in Chapter 5, references are not strictly speaking components because they are not independent items that can be acted upon in their own right. We mean two things by this. First, although we can select a chunk of data, as I'm doing here, it doesn't actually become a reference that we can act upon unless we link it to a node. Or in other words, we have to code references in order to be able to lift them out of sources. This actually turns them into coded references, which are a separate component in our way of thinking about the software and so we have a separate video about coded references. Secondly, there is no one place in NVivo where all references are listed together. So for example, looking down the navigational area as I'm doing now, I won't find a folder for references. This is because they're not independent objects in their own right. So although references are not strictly speaking components, we do think about them as if they were components because the process of identifying meaningful chunks of data and working with them in various ways is central to qualitative analysis. So let's look at different ways of creating references. As we can see here, we can select any chunk of text from any textual source to identify it as a reference. We can also open up different types of sources. For example, here I'm opening up an image file and I can select part of a image and use that as a reference. Equally, I can open up a video file and I can select directly on the video a portion of that video to turn it into a reference or indeed I can select part of a transcript but because we need to link references to something to enable them to be lifted out of their context, let's also look at the actions that we can take on references. Like all components, there are common actions that can be taken on references. However, because references are different from other components in that they are not independent items in their own right, there are some exceptions. We can create references at any time However, we cannot actually name or rename them like we can other components because they're not independent. We can search the content of references, but only once they have been linked to other components. We can write about references and annotations, but references themselves cannot be sorted or visualized as they do not exist in any one central place within NVivo. As we know, references have to be coded in order to be pulled out of sources, and then they can be sorted and visualised in different ways. We discuss coded references in the separate video about that component. Actions which are specific to references including, include linking them to nodes, cases, other references, sources or memos, and resizing them to include more or less data. When we select a chunk of data that we want to think about as a reference, and right click on it, as I'm doing now, we can see the various actions that we could take on this reference. Choosing to code it will link it to a node. Another key action is to annotate a reference. If I scroll down a little further in this source, you'll see that this passage of data, this reference, has already been annotated. I can see that because of the blue highlighting. If I turn on the annotations in my view main menu, then I can see the comment that I've made previously in the annotations area at the bottom. I can also choose 
by right-clicking to link a reference to another reference. And I would do that using a See Also link. Or I could link a reference to a memo, either a new memo that I would create at this position or to an existing memo. The important thing to understand about references is that they remain embedded within sources when we annotate them, link them to one another, or link them to memos. They only become independent items when they have been linked to nodes, thus making them into coded references. Coded references are a separate component in our way of thinking about MVivo, so watching the video about nodes and coded references will further your understanding about references.